Lamy. Yes? Good day to you, Lamy. Good day to you, sir. There might be a way to open this door from the other side. Give us this day or... Good day to you, Mr. McGrath. I'd wish you the same if I knew your name, sir. Ishmael Law. I have seen you in the meeting house. I have recognized the markings on your hands. I would have liked to have been a banisher. To track over the mysteries of our world. That must be something. Have you noticed, by chance, any strange behaviour hereabouts? Our village has suffered much loss of late. Many of my neighbours have seen the disease take their loved ones. They get sick, and you never see them again. Maybe you hear them moan as you pass their house, but then the moaning stops. In times like these, pray tell, if a person was behaving strangely, how could I possibly tell? I'm sorry, but I can tell from the look in your eye that you've someone in mind. Watson, the shoemaker. Perhaps because of illness or through the loss of his loved ones, but whatever has befallen the poor man, uh, he seems to have lost his mind. You wanted to be a banisher? That's unusual. As a child, I met a banisher. I was impressed by the marks on his hands, the assurance in his demeanor. He made me feel safe. You do God's work, though you know it or not. Like Charles Davenport, I respected the minister a great deal. He's a terrible loss. You wanted to become a banisher. Why didn't you? I got married instead came to New England, ruined everything. Tell me about folk round here. A vast subject that requires, perhaps, a more specific question. Tell me about Governor Haskell. A man like me does not get to know a man like him. He is a man of faith. We all trust him. That's all I can say. Tell me about Lamentation Haskell. Nice boy. Very secretive. I do not understand the things he says. Fortunately, he does not say them to me. <laughs> How about you? How are you feeling? Hmm. I've not been asked this in a long time. I am feeling a bizarre conflict between faith in the Lord and sheer unholy terror. I'll see you later, Ishmael. Anytime, sir. Good day to you, sir. Likewise. Red McCraith. You? Perry Cottle, I'm the baker. What are you doing out here in the rustics? I'm a banisher. I'm looking for ghosts. I find no ghosts here, sir, nor demons. The governor, in his piety, sees to that. I envy your faith, Mr. Cottle. How's that working out so far? Have you noticed anything strange lately? Changes in demeanor, odd comings and goings? 
Lucy Barrow goes picking plants. All furtive like. I've seen her. I've watched her. She puts them in her strange concoctions. Won't tell me what's in there. Maybe she'd spill it to you. And where might I find this Lucy Barrow? The ale wife, when she's not furtively picking her bitch, may be found in the ale house. What's the word around here? Ah, it's gossip you want. So be it. Recently, as I made my way to the mill, I saw Ishmael Law sneak into Phoebe Walcott's barn, his arms laden. I don't, don't know what he carried, but since then, he has seemed skittish. How's life in the Harrows? Does it taste sweet now, or does it taste bitter yet? Life in the Harrows, sir, tastes like hard work, and so it bloody should. What can you tell me about Lamentation Haskell? He seems a good boy. Peculiar. Not the brightest. He's not like his father. Oh, no, not at all. What can you tell me about the governor? Pious man of great eloquence. He likes a sour loaf, fresh from the oven, so warm the butter melts right through. I trust him completely. He's devoted. He serves his congregation, diligent and mindful. Just like me. A man can do any number of things with his life. What drew you to baking? Oh, any of a dozen reasons. I'll not bore you with all 13. That's also how old I was when my parents died. I needed work. The baker needed a boy. He was a hard man. But his wife was a pure-hearted woman. Taught me well. It is hard work, but I love it. I love it, dear. What brought you to New Eden? Were they short a baker? Elsewhere, folks backslide. Here, we know the value of our daily bread, of God's own bounty. Here, the baker is near in position to a minister. I should go. God go with you. Smells evil. It's just this. Start anew. Shite on these people. They can't hurt us. But how could you make him kiss it again? Oh, there. Are you all right, sir? We're closed. Uh, uh, oh, now. Out with you. Leave. Leave. I can tell from your sorry demeanor that you won't mind me asking you a couple of questions. I'm Red McCraith. I'm a banisher. I'm searching the area for evidence of witchcraft. And you, I can tell, are itching to help me. Show your shite and shapes, goose peddler. No witches here. Only myself, Caleb Watson. The governor bade me make the rounds. Is anyone acting strange? Why would he ask you that? Everyone keeps secrets, and I have a talent for uncovering them. I ain't got no secrets. I ain't done no wrong. Search me house, if you don't believe me. See for yourself. And when you're done, if you're any kind of man, you'll come back here 
Doff your cap, apologize, then shite off and never come back. If you're looking for someone acting strangely, I think you've found your man. Tell me a tale. What have you heard round about lately that might be of interest? Gossips for shite bags. Not being a shite bag, I don't gossip. I'll be leaving you alone for now. A man content with his own company is never alone. <laughs> you hear that? Good one, right? It's ours anyway. Should have been ours since the beginning. You know it's true. Fascinating. Does each citizen have their own? What do you think? Two of them are missing. Alexander and Ruth Watson. Hmm. Family? Being courted by two brothers at once rarely ends well. Personal experience. Don't go there. Brief my bond down house. Why keep it here? Ishmael Law said Watson lost his wife and brother. He's surely haunted, but where's the ghost? Fear not. You'll bugger off soon. They both will. What's this? It's not metal, not wood. Bone. It's bone. Lovely. I think we need to talk to Caleb Watson. You've done enough sniffing, hmm? Tired of the smell of your own ass? You said you had no secrets. That was a lie, am I right? Everyone has secrets. I can smell your secrets from here, mate. A pox on you. And a pox on your questions, too. 
You'll not take him head on. You must take your time, outflank him. There's burned debris out back. I found bone in it. Where does it come from? You must have little business if you spend your time sifting through my rubbish. It came from the house. Probably. I read your letter to Ruth. It's clear you loved her. Are you telling the truth about Alexander's infidelity? My name is Caleb Watson. And before God and all present, I swear that the letter I wrote to Ruth was a load of shite. Lusting for his beloved Ruth, I set out to ruin Alexander's name because I'm a greedy little prick. You're frank. You don't sound like you regret it, though. No. The past the past. Dead and buried. My brother is but a lingering memory. It was terrible what happened to your wife and brother. It might have helped if you'd mentioned that. You must be grieving. Do you mind if I ask where they're buried? Shite on me, shite bag brother. And shite on you too. They're both deep in the dirt up at God's Acre. And I'll speak no more of it. What's going on at God's Acre, Caleb? Shite off with your God's Acre. And good riddance to both. God's Acre concerns you not. You need to tell me what happened here. Stop hiding. Nothing happened. I buried... I buried all... Quiet, you. And you can shite off. Taking your nothing happened with you. Whatever happened, it happened at God's Acre. Thoughts on Caleb? You first, young man. Talking to Caleb felt like talking to a group. I'm thinking possession. Possession is plausible, but the clues are confusing. We jump to no conclusions. Instead, we gather proof. God's Acre? God's Acre. Too heavy to lower from your side.
Here we are. Let us find the graves of Alexander and Ruth, and whatever got Kate up acting so strange. Watch out! Spectre position! I think I see a patella. Lovely. Ruth Watson. There's another grave beneath it. I think we've had enough. Not today. Think you can fend for yourself? Who's that? Yes. Something's here. Oh, my God. 
We need to stop at some point. Here would be all right. We can't leave yet. I think I heard the sound of a gun cocking. Get lost, won't you? Decoys to distract wayward spectres. Rudimentary. Someone's had a little training. If Undertakers did this, they should find other work. I doubt there's a job on Earth that suits whatever did this. Here did lie Alexander Watson. Did Caleb take their bodies? Someone did. And he's at the top of my list. Well, they made quite the mess. Perhaps the decoys may show us the way. Follow the path. Don't get too close. I'll try. This way, more of them. Piss off! That's what I was talking about when I said don't get too close. Ready and waiting.
demonology. I should have known. God's green hell is this? Fight now, talk later. Think you could take on a ghost? It's stronger now, brace yourself. Physically respectful, they do that. Ready and waiting. Vicious scourge that despises the living. In these lands, what a surprise indeed. Shrines now? With bones? It's like Lady Blackwood's boudoir around here. Old emotions are trapped here. Oh, there, fella. Oh, you're nasty, aren't you? Nasty, yes. But also shoddy. It's very poor work. Are you sure we didn't miss anything? With a bit of luck, we'll find what we need.
What is luck in here? Time to work, Banisher. Remember the wicked will I felt earlier? The same spell is upon this. You should find that ritual Seeker told us about. I've kept her notes about the hut location.
now. This one's protected. Enough! We change targets. Tormented first. No step from the shadows. This isn't over yet. That spectre's seen a corpse and it wants it for its own. Of another insight. Divert your focus. The veil shields this one. Throwing a tantrum on me. I can help. Going for a meat suit. Strong Throwing a tantrum on me. 
Ask for help if you need it. Divergent focus. The veil shield you. Veil shield. Get rid of the other Spectre first. Thank me later. Change tack. Try another one. Standing by. Beware, wards. Under threat. You shouldn't stay in there. Standing by. Watch out. We made it angry. Stay down!
Destroy those ghost wards, if you want me back. A ward restrains me. Work this one out. Feel invigorated. It was weird. Pleasant? Told you. Take care. The place is warded. There you are. Here I am. The Lord's power is gone. Beware. Wards. Beware, wards.
standing by. Hugging all the fun. I feel the dark curse or spell we found already. We should find that ritual Seeker told us about. I've kept her notes about the hut location. Red, I can't manifest anymore. A ward restrains me. Ghost wards cannot manifest.
Pay attention. Standing by. Standing by. This on your sides. A safe harbor, should we need a moment's peace. Ghost wards cannot manifest. I don't think so.
For years, Kate Newsmith believed she did not measure up to her sister. Now she knows that in her kindness, she is at least her sister's equal. Thick skin has paid for her sins. But what of her sister? What will Kate do now? Her people look to her for their future, their protection, their survival. Is it just me or...? I felt it too. What is that? It looks like a butchered version of the ritual of lesser palingenesis. The ritual of... that ritual? The one that brings someone back? That ritual? Yes, that ritual. Here and now, I lift the curtain. As flesh unto verb, as verb unto heart, as heart unto flesh. Death's knot is unsevered and I shall cut it. Yes. 
Come to me, Ruth. Come to me, my love. Come back to me. Caleb Watson invoked a ghost without a body for it to inhabit, so it took his. Caleb. is no longer Caleb. Is he still in there too? He used pieces of his wife and also of his brother. Ruth, Alexander, Caleb could be any combination of them in there. Let's go find out which. Bread, not a rail, our bread. Do you want us to stop? Hush now. All is well. Nothing but shite off. We've been to God's Acre. Quite a tale it told us. You're not Caleb, are you? Or at least not entirely. Ah. Can't fog you. Alexander Watson. Long tale short, 
Caleb tried to bring his dead wife back. And I live here now. So many questions. Where to even start? He was trying to bring his wife back. How did you end up in the mix? Caleb made a fine cobbler, a poor brother, a worse husband, and a truly terrible witch. The ritual went to shite, because, of course it did. <laughs> Do both of you share Caleb's body? Share? <laughs> no. This house of flesh is mine. But because I am a generous man, I allow my brother to live in the cellar. We were twins. I was the rotten half, they said. But who's the rotten half now? There's something else you should know. If you don't know it already, I'm not alone. I completed the ritual. My darling Ruth is in here too. You used the ritual to bring Ruth's spirit into Caleb's body. Why? Love moves a soul to strange endeavours. We deserve a better life. I set myself to claiming it. I understand your anger, more so your desire. But what of Ruth? Did you consider what she wanted? Caleb stole a life from me. But he also stole Ruth's voice. She shrank beneath him. Of course she wanted a second chance at life. I'd like to hear this from Ruth. May I please speak with her? No! We've carved ourselves out a little happiness at last. I'll not have you break it. Please, leave us alone. Give us this. We need to speak to her, one way or another. If he won't tell us anything, perhaps the house Ruth died in will. Caleb was no saint, but this is hellish grim. Does he deserve it? Aye, he does. And it's not like I killed him. He's alive in here somewhere. Watching me ruin his name. He can hear me now. Destroying his reputation. As I had to hear him destroy mine when he painted me a fornicator. How oh, nice. He took our love, Ruth and mine, and killed it. Now our love's reborn, and he can do naught but sit and watch. Caleb was a cad. Shite on him. Let him suffer. You died trying to save Ruth from a burning house. True. True. I'm sorry. There's an awful way to go and so young too. You deserve better. We deserved better and now we have it. And with it, Caleb gets to make amends. For he did nothing. He stood and watched us burn. Caleb's name was ruined then. We're just putting the boot in. You're well placed to see what goes on around here. Help me out. Have you seen anything noteworthy? I've made a point of keeping people away, but I, I seek things. And I take note. Lammy Haskell. Any thoughts about him? The Haskell boy? What about him? He's weird. Talk with Caleb about nonsense. Both of them were full of shite. What's your take on the governor? My brother gave him the glad hand act, and the governor lapped it up. Askell's opinion of himself is far too high. To win his favour, you need only prop him up. He dragged my name through the dirt. Shite on him and his so-called eloquence. What use is a silver tongue when your heart is yellow? Tell me about folk here. Who stands out for you? What think you of them? What think I of they who shunned me? Gulled by my black-mouthed brother. 
What think I of malicious fools for whom I had to die to be redeemed? I'd say a curse upon them. <laughs> but tis too late. The curse has already come. How goes the settlement, would you say? It's going to hell in a shitting handcart. Not that I care, mind. But there's sport in guessing who shall live and who shall die. Hope they find that witch, though. Can't have witches about the place doing the devil's work. I'll be leaving you alone for now. Alone? <laughs> Not really. Hush now. All is well. Nothing bad will ever come to us again. Ruth and Alexander are having an affair in her husband's body. I'll not judge, no matter how much I want to. Something feels wrong. Something about Ruth. Ah, the famed and famous banisher. The one and only Red McRaith. Have we met? I was at the meeting house. You've got guts. I like that. <laughs> Thank you very much. Ooh, politeness gives me the shits. I'm Phoebe Walcott. I buy and sell. Now then, what's your pleasure? Have you been trading in New Eden long? Forever and a day, your Highlander Highness. I belong to this land, body and soul, and can no longer tell where I end and it begins. Really? Huh? <laughs> of course not. Don't be so gullible. Life makes more sense to the cynic. Sense of humour won't go amiss, neither. Folk here are too grim to notice how charming and funny I am. Eight years, if you must know, of the third settlement. I was one of the first to arrive. And look how far we've come since. What can you tell me about the community here? Like whom? I bet you tell me what you know of Governor Haskell. That kind, kind man. He's been so good to me. He's all vapour and bounce. And how are you? I'm doing my best to bring a little joy to the world, what with all the gloom. And how's that going for you? Badly. Lammy Haskell. Any thoughts about him? Him? He's so deep in his father's shadow you'd barely know he were there. Till we meet again. You mind your good self, do you hear? Greet you, sir. And tell me about folk round here. Have a... Thank you for your help. You are well. There might be a way to open this door from the other side.
Take care. The place is warded. The ghost wards feel far away from here. Just one keeps me from manifesting. Fancy knocking it down? Ghost wards. I cannot manifest. Missed me? Always. There's a way through. I can take care of it. The house that burned down. The roof fell in with them inside. There's a lot of debris. Time must be no time. Ruth's heart binds them. This work shows real sensitivity. Caleb, 
Maybe. Not Alexander. I suspect we've just learnt a little about Ruth. You! What do you have there? Stop right there, you rank rump! Whatever you found, it ain't yours! You buried Ruth's heart in the ashes of the house that killed her. I find that odd. You, a ghost, went digging in the ashes of a dead woman's house. You're ill-positioned to call me odd. Don't think I haven't felt your presence before. Stow your tongue while I speak with Ruth. Ruth, can you hear me? Can you speak? Puck off and die! I'm in charge here! No! Hush ye, Alexander. I'll speak. I'm Ruth. I hear you. I'm Antea Duarte. We're here to help. Oh, I'm glad. Please, end this nightmare. Help me. Oh, go to hell in a bag of shite. We're fine. And you have not the right, you hear? You've not the right. You again. I'll be leaving you alone for now. Alone? Silence me. We may speak. Help me, please. Who taught Caleb the resurrection ritual? To say it was taught would mean he'd learned it. He read it off a page. As a sorcerer, Caleb makes a fine cobbler. Think about Caleb. He was a good listener. As he worked, clients would bend his ear. The Haskell boy, for one. As Caleb pinned the governor's shoes, young Lammy would talk magic. N nonsense, really. But Caleb was listening. Wait. Lammy Haskell gave Caleb the resurrection ritual. After Lammy mentioned the ritual, Caleb became obsessed with it. He begged. Lammy, in his misplaced generosity, gave it. Caleb was intent on dark work. Lammy furnished written instructions. Caleb's letter changed your life. How did it feel at the time? It tore me in two. I loved Alexander. But I deserved to marry a man who would be true. Caleb seemed decent. I, I believed he loved me. I thought I'd married the better brother. But I'd married a liar. A liar and a devil. <sighs> and yet, not even he deserves this. No one deserves this. How did Caleb treat you? With adoration. I was an idol. Worshipped, yet unloved. He was the sculptor and I was the statue. Smiling down, unmoving from my pedestal with nothing to say. Now I'm sewn into a festering sack with the quivering remnants of my husband and the angry ghost of his dead brother. Please, let me out. Ruth, your husband Caleb's botched resurrection ritual brought you back, but allowed his brother Alexander to take you hostage. Once we deal with the Watson brothers, you shall be free to ascend. Do what you must. I'll suffer it if it leaves me free to go. No! We can stay! Please, Ruth, 
Let us stay. Look at you. Your counterfeit, a sham of a thing. Your so-called life is no life at all. Caleb lied and stole your love. But when the time was right, you lied and stole his body. We're ending this nonsense now. Caleb Watson, your past saving. We can but grant you the mercy of oblivion. But, but what about me? What about Ruth? Ruth is free to go. I shall have my rest now. Thank you. The line twixt love and hate is thin and easily crossed, especially between brothers. None are better placed to wound than your own blood. That was something. Don't take it to heart. Their choices are not your business. Our choices are my business. And their consequences too. Our love story shall have a better ending. I shall be as I was before, as if I'd never gone away. I... I hear you. Good. Now, let's see what Lammy Haskell has to say about raising spirits from the dead. Governor. May I help you, Mr. McCraith? I have to admit, this is an unusual case. Yes, yes, but have you solved it? I believe so. But the culprit was not responsible for the plague. At least not directly. Have you found the witch or have you not? Someone here has been dabbling in some dark magic. I have the name. So? What are you waiting for? Don't you want to hear the name? I do not need to. The principle is what matters. Not exactly. The name is Lamentation Haskell. No, it can't be. My son is studious. Curious, too curious at times, perhaps. But he does not have a bad bone in his heart. He showed Caleb Watson a ritual. The cobbler used it and became possessed. Even if true, it would only mean my son was exposed to corruption. It happened before. Bring me proof, Banisher. Find the real source of evil. I'll get it. Mark me. I must find your son, Governor. Sooner rather than later. His interests take him hither and thither. If he isn't here, he must be working on the outskirts. He's been sprucing up one of the abandoned houses there. I ordered them emptied when the sickness hit. Yeah, take the gate key. Go there. See for yourself. You're wrong about him. You're wrong about my son. Needless to say that I count, of course, on your discretion.
was quick to condemn till it was his own son on the block. Look, who is he really protecting? We'll bring him the proof he wants. If the boy is guilty, his father may not be able to protect him. Hell's balls. What happened here? Something's emanating from under. One of these must be Lammy's hideaway. Destroy those ghost wards if you want me back. Lammy, you hear? There might be a way to open this door from the other side. You were studying botany? Why botany? The incisions are clean, the precision of an expert. There's magic here, though 
faint. Harley, mean anything to you? Not a thing. He talks once more of a man. I guess we found him. Nothing incriminating. Yet. Remember what we found at Caleb Watson's? Maybe we're not looking in the right place. If I had something to hide, I might hide it in an abandoned mill. Destroy those ghost wards, if you want me back. No more wards. Thank you.
I feel a draft. From the invisible. One less to worry about. Ghost wards cannot manifest. Missed me? Always. Did we miss a few? I can't help you. here. Something has me. Wards. The ward's power is gone.
Looks derelict. Is he really inside? A ward restrains me. I... with you once more. Guess we're not going that way. There should be a way up here. Picking up something spectral nearby. What hides here in the dark? Come out, come out. Deja vu. He tried his hand at several translations. This relay lad seems dangerous. His apprentice seems to be following him down the same path. So, what are you hiding in here, evil spawn? Glancing at the original writing, Lamy's work was poor. No wonder the ritual he spawned for Caleb from those botched words of power went wrong. He doesn't speak well of his dad. Did he seek power? Was he hoping to step out of his father's shadow? If he did, he went the wrong way about it. We need to get to the top floor. Bet we'll find something. More ghost wards. Someone was being extra careful. Yeah. 
here. I found something. No crank. Great. More magic muckery. What exactly was he up to? His final notes sound optimistic. Did he succeed? It's just a lift. Why is this mechanism so complex? That book, again. The Agrippa. That's not good. Not good at all. What level of not good are we talking about, exactly? This book promises eternal life, but the promise is a trap. Let's hope it hasn't been used. The crack. Good. We don't know what Lamy was up to, and the signs are not encouraging. You know, I could get to like it underground. The darkness, the gloom, the cool air. Really? No, not really. Not at all. Focus on the pillars around us.
Can I join in too? Ice Pierce. Strikes are useless if the pillars are meant to be. Focus on the pillars around us. I'm right here, you know. Heads up! Destroy the pillars before anything else. Can I join in too? Call on me. I can see the pillars. Souls. Ready and waiting. Sharp enough. You'd miss it. You know you would. You need to see this. Dead animals, again. Different symbols and magic. Seems they were used as bait. Is this how we got through the Sorrow's vigilance? So, here we are. I suppose now, we step into the void. <sighs> suppose we do.
Dark rituals, void breach, general weirdness. I mean, can't be far. Ghost wards. I cannot manifest. Wards. It's awfully calm. Why is it awfully calm? Red, I can't manifest anymore. Stay low. Beware, wards. Ask for help if you need it. That one is shielded.
an Ariadne's thread leading through the void. Very useful indeed. Oh, very useful right until it falls apart. Then you're stuffed like force meat in a turkey. An Ariadne's thread leading through the void. Very useful indeed. Oh, very useful right until it falls apart. Then you're stuffed like force meat in a turkey. Creepy hideout. The governor's spawn likes a bit of drama. This one's different. Looks like it died diseased. Dark sideways magic. It's forbidden. I've read it. Sometimes I worry about you. Ugh. What is this thing? Banisher rule number four. If it oozes, don't touch it. Another botched experiment? It may be native to the void. <laughs> So, you can see me. Aren't you full of surprises, young Master Hasker? You may talk. A banisher ghost. Amazing. How on God's earth did you find me? Never mind that. Thank the Lord you did. Thought I was going to grow old in here. As hiding places go, the void is quite the choice. Yes, an amazing place. Or plane? World? The Aralu is not easily described, but it makes a fascinating study. Tell me, how did you get past the Guardian beneath the mill? Did you use a decoy? We fought it. Don't change the subject. You fought it? Of course you did! A good thing too. I was starting to think it was wise to me tricks. Oh, but I have so many questions. This isn't a social call, kid. And we're the ones with the questions. Oh. Oh. Of course. From the looks of this place, you're knee-deep in research. What are you doing here, exactly? Searching for the origin of the Harrow's Plague, of course. And I have a theory on the subject. Of course you do. Go on, then. Now, at first, I believed the water poisoned, but my father sealed the well and yet folk remained sick. They looked for witchcraft, a foolish, uneducated suspicion, yes, but with some truth concealed behind it. You see, the Aralu taints New Eden. Its influence leeches into the Harrows. The evidence is everywhere. Can you prove that? Where's your evidence? In New Eden, the threshold between our plane and this is thin. Even I, a novice, may reach the frontier and then go beyond. I also believe it happened before. Some years ago, New Eden was hit by another epidemic. Was it the same illness? I believe that first epidemic was caused by the porosity of the frontier between New Eden and the Aralu. Although, where theirs was an affliction of burning flesh, ours is a corruption of mind and spirit. And I believe I have found its source. There is a substance, a strange ooze. You may have noticed it. This, I believe, is the true source of the Harrow's poison. It carries a particular stink, on the scent of which I experience first confusion, then a loss of control over my limbs. What do you expect to find at the source of the ooze? To find a cure. 
The ooze seeps into our world, sickening us. I may be able to stop it. Unfortunately, I cannot reach the source. The Aralu is a formidable place. Tricky. A maze constantly evolving, changing, reshaping itself. The Isthmus, for example. I found an oozing crack in the ground. The terrain then remade itself, and I can get to it no longer. Perhaps we might be able to find a way through and take a look at that source. Would you? That would be splendid. Would you mind taking notes? You see ghosts. You stroll the void as if it were your garden. You possess and share forbidden rituals. Who are you really? I'm Lammy Haskell, and I'm a man of many sciences. I am in fact a true pursuer. That raises more questions than it answers. What are the pillars of the universe? Which principles underpin existence? As occultists, do we change the world or scratch upon its surface? Each discipline I embrace peels back a new layer of reality. I'm yet at the beginning and see where I already stand. Amazing, no? Are you a demonologist like your father? More or less. Less, more so. My father sees occultism through the eyeglass of his faith, but I know better. So, more so? If you don't share your father's faith, what do you believe? I believe in the afterlife. The proof is about us. And if the void embodies eternal despair, there must too be a place of hope. But where, I ask myself, where? Your father is convinced a witch poisoned his well. Caleb Watson was cursed by a ritual you gave him. I'd focus if I were you. We must counter the devil with knowledge of his tricks. That, my father always said, is the purest of God's work. Ah, I can imagine your father saying that. When I was ten, he gave me my initiation. Demonology, sir, as he would say. He saw me as his heir. Then, of a sudden, the books were forbidden. So I stole them, the very same books he'd forced upon me as a boy. I understand them where he does not. I did no wrong, apart from a little theft. We must talk of Caleb Watson. Why in the hell would you give him a resurrection ritual? Ruth's death hit poor Caleb hard. He was alone, and so I would often stop by his workshop. We talked. He took a keen interest in my studies and was a good listener. When he learned that she could possibly return, he had one question. How? Men bonding over bereavement and black magic. A pretty tale indeed. I should have proceeded with more caution. You shouldn't have proceeded at all. We have a witch hunt on our hands. You could face trial for this botched ritual. Yes, and I'm sorry. I found it in a copy of De Occulti Philosophia by Cornelius Agrippa von Nettesheim. A remarkable book. I've met my fair share of illustrious occultists, and none owned an authentic Agrippa. Much is lost in translation or altered in the printing. I doubt your copy is an exception. Of course! The power is in the words, and mine were wrong, so the power went awry. How very fascinating! You mistake foolishness for audacity. You must mend your ways. Surely the acquisition of knowledge cannot be a sin. Do you remember Deborah? Miss Comenius. Yes, of course, I remember. Your father tasked us with an investigation. One way or the other, we must return with the mystery solved. Ah. I think I understand what you're saying. I might be in a tiny little bit of, uh, danger. You've studied demonology. Did you do it alone? 
When my father forbade me to continue, I confess I disobeyed him in secret. Those big books were very boring until they were forbidden. Suddenly I could not get enough of their secret knowledge. Funny, eh? More recently, a good friend of my father showed me that I had only been scratching at the surface. Who was your father's friend? An itinerant Frenchman who often visited New Eden in recent years. He called himself a true pursuer. As a thinker, he was prolific and profound. My father was so proud to be included in his discourse. For him, knowledge is the ladder to greatness, and greatness is the prize. To me, knowledge is itself the prize. Let's go take a closer look at that ooze, then. And with that sorrow gone, I can leave. Do be careful. My home is your home. If you need anything, help yourself. The Aralu is not your home, Lamy. But thank you. Uh, pardon my morbid enthusiasm, Mistress Duarte, but could I ask you a few questions? What do you wish to know? Do you still need to eat? Do you feel hunger? Sorry, it's just, you're the first ghost I've met, uh, in person, as it were. I don't eat. Not in the way you do. I feel hunger. Ugh. What is this thing? Banisher rule number four. If it oozes, don't touch it. Another botched experiment? It may be native to the void. And there, we should get going. So... The pious governor's unassuming son is our evil Harrow's witch. <laughs> the more powerful the loose cannon, the more dangerous it is. I don't know that I buy Lamy's hair of the dog theory, but I feel strange, and I sus. Oh, God! Need a wee bit of help here. Well, that was not pleasant. A lot pleasant that time. Wards, I'm going to need a hand here. The ward's power is gone. Reinforcements! through the breach. Separates like a festering wound. How delightful. Let's see what lies on the other side. Where are we now? 
underground looks like. Wonderful. The ooze affects the incarnate, too. Who goes there? Is that a ghost? I don't know. But I don't think we're alone. What might you be, then? What was... Oh, shite. Did you... did you just say shite? You? It's bigger than I thought it would be. Is that a house from the Harrows? We may be below the well. No wonder they all got sick.
Did you feel that? It's close. 